Hi all you lovely people. Today let's talk about one of the very important topics. How to restart your career after a break. For that let's first understand what are the fears and challenges we face while going back to the workforce. Also let's understand what is the apprehension employers have while hiring the people who have career break in their resumes. So the major challenge which we go through as restarters are lack of confidence and fear of irrelevance. And the other side of the coin is the employers who think that if they will hire the people who have break in their resumes, they will be hiring the people who are technologically obsolete. Also, they worry that restarters don't know what exactly they are looking for and what do they want to do. But let me tell you, all these fears and apprehensions are temporary. And here are some tips on how to successfully restart your career after a gap. Tip number one, incubate or test waters. You have taken a career break and would like to go back to work now. So, assess yourself and take a course if required. Do not hesitate to start low. It can be a temporary job or a part-time job or even an internship. Many companies are coming on board with the idea of doing internships for the people who are coming to work after a break. So assess yourself with the limited work responsibilities and then gradually go full-time after finding out where lies your difficulties and challenges. Also, when we go back to work after a break, all that goes in our mind is work-life balance. This is our main priority and we think and talk about it all the time. If you find it, it's amazing. If a company is willing to give you flexi or fixed timings for a full-time or part-time job, then great. But do not restrict yourself if that is not available. Hence, tip number two. Rather than finding work-life balance, try and practice work-life integration. There will be days when family has to take priority. But there will also be days when work will have to take the priority. So, you need to figure out the strategies on how to integrate these two together. Third tip is to prioritize. You may be a full-time mom. You may be taking care of your parents. You may be maintaining a full-time household. And you want to go back to a full-time job as well. These are four jobs into one job. And you are not going to be able to do it. While testing waters, you will get to know what are your problem areas and depending on that, you need to deprioritize this stuff which does not matter. For the stuff which you cannot take care by yourself, please ask for help. You may want to keep your children, your work and your family in your priority list. Rest of the other things like cooking, cleaning, uh, taking care of your household and such other stuff has to go out of your list. It can be a paid help which you ask for or you can ask from any family members also for that help. We hesitate to ask. Otherwise, if we ask, people are more than willing to help us in our difficult times. So prioritize and come out to ask for help. Fourth tip is to know yourself and your true potential. The more you know about yourself, your personality and your triggers, the better and easier you will be able to integrate them while communicating with your family and in work environment. Knowing yourself helps you improve your dynamics with your family as especially when they are the ones who are helping you out in your hour of need. It also helps in highlighting your qualities 
in the best possible manner to your employer to build trust so that they can retain you as full timers it also helps you identify any new interest areas which you may not have explored earlier but can help you in making your comeback so to join the workforce once again after a career back or to know your true potentials please reach out to us on the given number or email address or otherwise you can visit us on our website www.dishadeepan.com thank you